Back-to-back -back vandalism, a racial slur, then a fire. The building's owner believes it could be a hate crime. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilgus. News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry is following this investigation. First and Second Chance Furniture and Holtz Kitchen is a family-owned and operated business located in a building on Dickerson Pike. The owner, Robert Holt, has owned his businesses for around five years, but only recently started experiencing vandalism. The business owner's granddaughter tells me a week ago, a rock was thrown through the business window. Metro police say a day later, the N-word was spelled out on the building wall in spray paint. Yesterday, a fire broke out around 5 in the morning, destroying both sides of the business. At the time, Holt said he was waiting to hear back from insurance on the damage. I'm feeling pretty rough because it's uh, to the heart, you know. I mean, it's something that I grew up from years up, bringing it up, and to have this happen. And I think it's total. Then around five this morning, Nashville Fire was dispatched to the business for an alleged rekindling of the fire. As for the fire yesterday, very, very suspicious. This is also being possibly investigated as a hate crime. The business windows are currently boarded up. But you can see the pickup order window still sits in shambles as the broken side door shows a glimpse into the extensive damage inside. There is no room in Nashville for anything like this. ATF was on the scene offering up their resources. Heading up the investigation is Nashville Fire and Metro Police. Nashville Fire is looking into the cause of the fire and Metro Police tell me they are investigating the vandalism but they did not confirm this is being investigated as a hate crime. And if this turns out to be uh, a deliberately set fire and arson and is also uh, racially motivated, I'm willing to put up a $10,000 reward.